this is Deborah from the Northwest Dutch Oven Society. We're working on our YouTube video series and we wanted to do just the basics of Dutch oven cooking. So those of you that are new to Dutch ovens, we call these camp ovens. They have legs on the bottom and a flange lid on the top where you can set the coals, which is what we use for our heat source. So we're going to go through just kind of some basic equipment of what you need to get started. Um, there's a lot of great equipment out there. Some of it's a little pricey and we want to show you that you don't have to have the expensive stuff just to get started. Now if you don't have a camp oven with legs, um, we're just going to show you an alternative of a house Dutch oven, what we call a house Dutch oven. It's a cast iron Dutch oven, but it doesn't have legs and the lid doesn't have a flange on it. So this leg, this has no legs. So we've set this on a, on a structure called a lid stand that gives us our legs. And then this oven is smooth on the bottom. And then we set that on there. That gives us that um, area underneath so that we can put coals underneath, either wood coals from their fire or uh, barbecue briquettes, which I'm gonna talk about in a minute. And because it doesn't have the flanged lid to hold your coals on the top, we've got a, a pie shield. You can use different things. And we're gonna go through another video and show alternatives um, to these things. But we just wanted to show you that just in case you go, hey, I don't have that. Please don't run out and buy an expensive piece of equipment. Whoops, I was trying to drop my lid. Um, I just want to show you, you could get started with what you already have in your um, kitchen. Uh, with next thing we're going to need is a heat source. So in the olden times, like if you were Oregon Trail or cowboy cooking or just uh, Boy Scouts, uh, they don't normally carry barbecue briquettes with them. We use barbecue briquettes as our heat source. Um, it's nice and even. Each briquette um, has a temperature range that we kind of know what it is so it helps us when we're cooking a, a dish we kind of know how to do that if you use wood heat it's a little more subjective uh, but we'll do those kinds of videos and talk about that later but we use barbecue briquettes and a chimney starter just a, a barbecue chimney starter uh, you can either put paper in the bottom I uh, we're gonna load our coals in there we're gonna put them inside I can't light anything we're on a plastic table today and then you need a match, something to light them, just a basic um, Bic lighter. Light your uh, coals, let them get started. When they're ready to use and put on the Dutch oven, they're going to be kind of ashy gray, but not burnt down. They'll still be very firm, glowing, and um, not smoking anymore. So once that's done, um, we're going to put them on our Dutch oven and see how those hold on to the lid. These are unhot briquettes. Um, but we need a pair of tongs or something. Once those are hot, we want to be able to move those from our chimney to our lid and however we're going to place them on our Dutch oven. And depending on what you're cooking in your Dutch oven will depend on how many coals you use top and bottom. Uh, we sell a cookbook that gets you started. It's a basic cookbook and the coals have hints on them so that says how many underneath and how many on top until you become a little more proficient at this style of cooking then you'll kind of know you won't have to count the coals um, but some people do but when you're doing a lot of pots and you got craziness going on it's not always a great thing <laughs> um, so once you've moved your coals you let it cook of course we're not going to cook on this type of um, plastic table you're going to need um, a pair of welding gloves these pots get very hot and retain their heat. So if you were lifting, these lids can, or their bales can get hot. If you wanted to lift the lid, you need um, a glove. A welding glove is good, a heavy leather glove. Um, and then we have what's called a lid lifter. This gets, has a nice control over lifting the lid. There's different styles. We're gonna do a video that will show you different things, alternatives, so if you don't have one of these, don't worry. Uh, don't run out and buy a piece of equipment if you're just getting started we can show you an alternative so this gives me control over the lid and then I'm going to put it on a lid stand because when you set your lid off of your pot you don't want to set it on the ground in dirt or if you're at a campground like on pine needles it's hot it can start a fire you need to be very careful so this just lets us take that off if we have to stir our dish or whatever we're just checking and then we can put that back on it also helps if you're rotating your lid during the cooking process. You can spin it and it just gives you that control. Now this is just a lid stand. They come different models. You saw a different one down there with the house Dutch oven. It's just a way for you to set your lid or pot onto and keep it clean and off of the surface that you don't want it to touch. 
Now, uh, usually we cook on big steel tables, and we're going to show you one of those later. Um, but if you don't have a steel table, don't run out and buy one. Uh, we can hook you up with an alternative. This is just an old milk crate and an oil change pan. Um, this one's pretty rusty because we use it a lot. Um, or it's a hog pan from the feed store. They cost about five bucks. So this setup here cost me just a few bucks. Twenty dollars, probably at the antique store if you can find an old metal milk crate and some kind of a pan. You can use an old cookie sheet, uh, roaster pan, any old metal piece that you don't care because it is going to get burnt inside because the coals are going to go in here. So when we put our oven in there, we're going to set our oven down in there and there's our table basically. So that's going to get hot. You're going to have burnt stuff. You don't want anything fancy. Um, I've picked up stuff alongside the road to use um, for my alternative cooking stuff. And as always, when you're cooking outdoors and with um, this live coals, make sure you have a fire extinguisher. We carry those at all of our events. A little bit of storage. Um, my bag, I store them in a bag, a Dutch oven bag, but you don't have to. And we'll talk about storage in another video. All right, and then we have a windscreen. This is a homemade windscreen. And a windscreen, when you're cooking, you can see this one kind of has a natural windscreen on it. Um, so the coals that are down underneath are shielded from like today's there's a little bit of a cold breeze and we want that wind not to blow over our coals because it burns hotter and faster and we want it to just kind of mellow and cook slowly. Uh, this screen is um, a nice one for a big Dutch oven table um, and we would put that up around our table like that to protect the top coals from getting blown in the wind. So there you have it. There's some easy uh, getting started. Um, what you just need to get going and uh, keep your coals hot and we'll see you down the road. Thanks.